good morning and warm welcome to all friends in this chapter 8 uh, cell structure and functions we have completed many topics okay from your basic like first of all we have uh, seen that the cell is only a uh, basic structural unit okay basic structural unit we can say after this we have gone through some uh, types like a uh, variety okay we can say uh, organism shows variety in cell number shapes and size so in this we have seen unicellular and multicellular okay that is uh, organisms which have only one cell is called unicellular okay and having more than one cell is simply called multicellular <clears throat> so after after this one we have gone through some uh, shape okay like uh, uh, here in this figure 8.4 in this figure 8.4 you are given different shapes of of uh, cells okay that uh, that much variety is possible next one you have seen size of cell okay size of cells uh, in this we have seen that say the uh, the size of cell is simply don't depend on the size of the organisms also okay after this cell structure and functions now it's time to it's time to study about part parts of the cell okay we have studied cell that what is cell and uh, uh, how it can be classified what uh, how many how much variety in the cell we can see but what is the uh, pa parts of the cell okay so first one we have, we have gone through a cell uh, let's study about cell membrane okay simply or plasma membrane see uh, main basic components okay main basic parts we can say uh, of cell are cell membrane or plasma membrane uh, second one is uh, cytoplasm and nucleus this you are given in the figure 8.7 i hope all of you have textbook right now hmm. <clears throat> so basic components of the cell are simply uh, cell membrane crypt uh, cytoplasm and a nucleus okay three basic components are there for the cell the ce uh, cytoplasm and nucleus are enclosed within the cell membrane also called the plasma membrane okay uh, uh, you can compare this cell with with your home also okay see Uh, as you can as you can uh, see very well that you can observe very well that your home is covered with some wall okay your your home is covered with some wall okay and inside your home also there must be some wall okay the, uh, which can uh, divide your kitchen with your home uh, sorry room okay your uh, kitchen with your hall your kitchen with your uh, balcony let's say okay so <clears throat> that's how this cell also have a, a wall okay and that is simply membrane cell membrane we can say okay and this uh, cytoplasm and nucleus are enclosed with the help of okay within the cell membrane okay it is uh, this cell membrane covers this cytoplasm and uh, nucleus okay so the membrane uh, separates cells from one another and also the cell from the surrounding medium okay simply it it protects the cell membrane uh, membrane protects uh, the cell uh, cell from the surrounding medium and one another also okay so <clears throat> the plasma membrane is porous and allows the movement of substances the substances we can, i mean to say uh, inside the cell Uh, this cytoplasm uh, cytoplasm in includes other substances also okay you will uh, we will uh, discuss in the topic cytoplasm but simply understand that it allows the movement of substances okay uh, or uh, materials both inwards and outwards okay from the inside inside of cell to outside okay Uh, either another cell or surrounding medium let's say okay if if you will have some sweat sweating okay then it must be uh, this process only okay F uh, of allowing <clears throat> outside we can say okay from inside the cell to outside only okay so this one is basic okay we have studied that the, this basic three components of cells that is uh, first one cell membrane second one is Uh, cytoplasm and third one is uh, we are given this <clears throat> nucleus okay so 
this is from outside to inside we can say because this first one you will you will get a, a wall okay or membrane which is covered side which covers covers this cytoplasm and nucleus okay so after this cytoplasm will take place which is a uh, between nucleus and membrane okay it simply means that nucleus must be inside because you can compare uh, you can compare with this uh, uh, nuclear nucleus of a atom also okay in chemistry uh, we have studied that this uh, atom or uh, atom considered a, a nucleus okay in which simply electron and proton uh, sorry proton and neutron so as it is this cell also includes a nucleus and which must be inside okay inside of the uh, of this cell so the material which uh, jelly jelly like material okay we can say is uh, between the cell and uh, sorry nucleus and the cell membrane it is cytoplasm okay although we will discuss this further in the next lecture but right now let discuss this uh, activity 8.3 and 8.4 okay so in activity 8.3 you are given that in order to in order to observe the basic components of the cell take an onion bulb hmm? remove the dry pink coverings pills so dry pink covering means uh, outside the okay layers outside the onion the dry dry layers okay we can say pills you can easily separate these from the fleshy white layers of the bulb with the help of a uh, well of forceps or even with your hand you can also break the onion bulb and separate out thin layer okay sometimes uh, you may observed in village or somewhere that if if there is no forceps or any other instruments okay then they just break the onion bulb okay onion bulb with your with the hand only okay Uh, so you can break it also you can also break the onion bulb and separate out with thin separate out thin layers place a small piece of of thin onion peel okay thin onion peel in a drop of water on a glass slide the thin layer can be cut into smaller pieces with the help of a blade or forceps add a drop of methylene blue solution to the layer and place a cover slip on it while placing the cover slip ensure that there are no air bubbles under the cover slip okay this is some uh, basic instruction must be given by teacher or someone lab assistant but here we are just reading and uh, understanding this activity okay but <clears throat> these are very important while performing this in uh, practical okay so uh, drop a uh, drop of um, methylene blue solution to the layer and place a cover slip on it while placing the cover slip ensure that there are no air bubbles under the cover slip observe the slide under the microscope draw and label you may compare it with figure 8.5 so here you are given in this figure 8.5 the basic understanding okay basic uh, figure you are given to understand this okay uh, cells observed in an onion peel so first one you are given this nucleus okay see here uh, this dot or we can say small circle is nucleus only okay these are cytoplasm okay see between nucleus and membrane okay these are membrane we can say okay or wall they are uh, dividing with uh, another cell okay here we can say okay so this is the activity 8.3 and let's let's read this uh, definitions you are given so the boundaries uh, boundary of the onion cell is the cell membrane covered by another thick covering called the cell wall okay after uh, outwards the cell membrane also okay first one let's go with the inside to outside okay first one you will you will have nucleus okay inside or we can say in core okay in core of cell there must be a nucleus after this cytoplasm okay after this cell membrane and after this cell wall okay so here you are given that the boundary of the onion cell is the cell membrane covered by another thick layer another thick another thick covering 
called the cell wall. The central dense round body in the center is called the nucleus. Okay, we have already discussed this. The jelly-like substance between the new nucleus and the cell membrane is simply called cytoplasm. Okay, so you can underline these three important uh, definitions. Okay, and just uh, <clears throat> understand this concept also. Okay, again and again. The first one will be from inside to out. First one will be nucleus. Okay, at the core of the cell. Okay, inside the cell. After this. Uh, cytoplasm it is the material between the nucleus and the cell membrane after it uh, cell membrane will be there and after the cell membrane it must be uh, cell wall okay so now let's move forward to the activity 8.4 take a clean toothpick or see here you are given a, a cell cell okay uh, you you are being asked to observe the cell of an uh, onion peel okay cell in an onion peel in activity 8.4, uh, you are given to <clears throat> observe the cell of an animal, okay? So, take a clean toothpick or a matchstick with the tip broken. Scrape inside of your cheek without hurting it, okay? Whenever you are just scraping, then this, just observe that you, you must not hurt, okay? So, place it in a, a drop of water on glass side. Add a drop of iodine and place place a cover slip over it. Alternatively, add one to two one to two drops of methylene blue solution. Observe it under the microscope. You may notice several cells in the scrape material. You can you can identify the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, and nucleus. A cell wall is absent in animal cells. Okay, observe that these plants or on any any other uh, needs a cell wall okay there must be cell wall okay but in this uh, cell of animals then there must not be any cell wall so we can say uh, that is eukary eukaryotes okay and this is prokaryotes organisms <clears throat> okay so uh, here you are given the human cheek cells okay in the figure 8.6 so now just try to understand this this uh, this mass or we can say this uh, in this core you are given a nucleus okay inside the cell after this a cytoplasm and after this cell membrane okay we can say wall type of okay it is a cell membrane okay and uh, here you are given one more nuclear membrane okay so simply as this cell membrane covers the cell, nuclear membrane covers the nucleus. Okay. So that's it for today. This is the basic we have to study. Uh, I mean to say uh, for this parts of cell. Okay. So for this parts of cell, we just have to study some basics. And this can be covered by this activity 8.3 and 8.4. Okay. So that's it for today. And in next lecture, we will study. Okay. And we will try to visualize all the parts of the cell okay i mean to say main this basic three and uh, three or four more you are given the in the given in this cytoplasm also okay that is uh, uh, mitochondria golgi bodies and ribosomes also okay so we will uh, try to visualize this with the help of a 3d model okay. uh, thank you very much and <clears throat> have a nice day to all of you